Crap Collector or Crazy Writes. I'm joining the world of Ink Mists. I've been wanting to try them for a while and after seeing them in videos and projects, I've decided it's finally time to try Spray Mists. What mist should I get? Glitter Girl, can you help solve this mystery? Of course I can. The trick with mists is there are just so many brands and finishes available. So let's have a look at different kinds that you can get and then two different projects. So let's start with the product comparison. Here today we're going to look at Ranger Color Wash, October Afternoon Sprinklers, Mr. Huey's, and then Chalkboard and Regular Glimmer Mist, both by Tattern Angels. Let's start with the Ranger Color Wash. This is a solid color and it has no shine. It's a very intense color as you can see here. Um, it does now come in a much smaller bottle so you can have more colors rather than a, a few giant bottles that will last you forever. You can have smaller um, bottles and have a bigger variety of color. October Afternoon Sprinklers are also a solid color and this is the set that I use quite often. It comes all together with a white, a cream, a craft, and a gray and it's called Art Box. So here are how these spray uh, just overhead onto white cardstock. So you can see different um, patterns and different tones here. They're a bit softer than the color wash and October afternoon sprinklers are more like paint. They have a thicker consistency rather than a dye. Mr. Huey's Color Mists are from Studio Calico and they come in all ranges of color plus they have a very popular white and those are all solid colors but then they have a separate one called uh, Mr. Huey's Calico Shine and that's just shine no color. So here you can see a red and a green and a pink and those are all without shine and if you would like to add sparkle or pearl then you can spray the calico shine over the top or you can use it on its own to add just a, a layer of pearl to any scrapbook or paper element. Okay tattered angels have several different kinds of mists and these are the chalkboard mists which have a lovely soft color which is opaque but not quite as opaque as some of the other varieties so they're very soft so there was a blue and a pink and there's also a white but there are many colors you can choose from and Tattered Angels original glimmer mist they come in all sorts of colors and there's also the just separate pearl finish and these are a sheer color so you can see this is an orange called Tiger Lily which is bright but you can see through it all of these have shine to the finish. Some have a gold shimmer, some have a silver finish, some have a pearl finish. So there's lots of different combinations and that's why there are so many different colors in their lineup. But you can see they spray in a, um, in a nice color. Let's look at some white mists. Now, white in a bottle is different than white on cardstock. So I'm going to spray on gray, black, and craft with three different kinds of white mist so you can see the difference. So here is black cardstock. And I'm going to spray each of them in the same place on the paper and you can see how they change as they dry. So that first spray is October afternoon sprinklers in doily. Then the next one is the Studio Calico in Calico White. So you can see that's brighter and it doesn't seem to fade. If you look back over to the first one it's it's starting to settle into the paper and it gets a, a bit less white. Now that third one there with several sprays is the white chalkboard mist but you'll notice as it starts to dry a great deal of it fades away so it's a very soft white finish. So here on black Mr. Huey's is definitely most opaque followed by October Afternoon followed by Tatter Angels. It just depends on what option you would like. Here we'll try it on gray cardstock. This first one again is October Afternoon Paper Doily in the Sprinklers collection. Then Studio Calico Mr. Huey in Calico White. Now keep in mind those first two, the October Afternoon and the Studio Calico, they are both just plain opaque white. They don't have any pearl or glitter or glimmer finish to them in any way. Then the third one is the Tattered Angels Chalkboard Glimmer Mist and that does have a sheen to the finish. And then we'll move on to craft cardstock. And you will notice that mists do make a mess of your work surface. 
So I'm working on something that can just easily be cleaned up, but if you are not, then do make sure that you cover your work surface with a craft sheet or newspaper, or you can use a box to spray into so that you don't end up with mist everywhere. And um, right now onto craft cardstock. Craft cardstock does soak up mist um, quite quickly. So you'll see how it goes on quite bright and then it fades a bit as it dries. But um, it's a lovely soft look on craft cardstock and in all honesty all three of them look really nice on this color. You can use them together or separate just depending on how bright you want it to be and how much you want a pearl or a plain finish. For the first project, I'm going to use that craft cardstock look to make a layout with the Simple Stories Urography collection. So here's a quick look at some of the papers from that line. And then I'm starting with that craft cardstock. I'll spray some white mist, and I'm using the Studio Calico Calico White here, but you can use any one that you like. And I'm spraying in two corners from just straight above to get a little soft background of white. Then I'll add the various pieces of pattern paper that I've cut. So I have some stripes and a, a tab and a journaling box. I'll just add these right over the top, so I'm covering up quite a bit of what I missed it. But now that they're down, you can see the shadowing that comes from the white being underneath all that pattern paper. The photo will go to the right there, to the right of the strip that's just being added. Now I'd like to make some more obvious ink splots, and with that I take the tube out of the bottle and either flick it onto the page or actually touch the tube to the page and sometimes even paint in larger spots. The drops you'll get from tapping the tube will be different based on whether you hold the tube straight up and down or whether you lay it on its side and tap at an angle. So it's worth trying both on a spare bit of paper. If the tube doesn't give you a result that you like, try a very small paintbrush you'll see here that the dots you get are much smaller and closer together than what you get from the tube. Those will take a little bit of time to dry since the ink is more concentrated in the droplets than in the spray. I'm going to use a masking technique with an old set of stickers. And what I want to do is be able to take them off the page again. So I just lay the sticker onto my shirt and peel it off so that it collects that little bit of fuzziness from a, a garment or a bit of cloth and then it will be easy to pull off the layout it won't be stuck fast. So I'm just going to write the title here with the letter stickers and these are just an old set of letter stickers because I'm going to throw them away once I pull them off the layout they won't really be salvageable. It's not going to be a really, really obvious look, so this is best for something that you want to be a little bit subtle. If you want a really big title, then by all means, you know, use uh, something other than, than masking. So here I'm using a gold, um, well, it's a, a brown ink with gold mist to it, and I'm not shaking as fast as it looks there in the video because it's sped up, but basically to get the glimmer um, to swirl around in the tube, if you shake it up really fast, it will end up full of bubbles. And that will give you big globs when you spray, and it will also clog the ink, um, the, it will clog the ink as it comes up the tube. So it's better off to swirl it slowly, or if you get too many bubbles, to let it sit and settle a little bit. So I've sprayed that straight over the title, and then I added a few of the brown ink dots to the corners as well. And then I'm just using a paintbrush in the same pot of Glimmer Mist to add in some shadows and you can just paint in straight lines along the edges of things to give a bit more definition. Going around the edge of the page works too. And then I'm just adding a little bit of white in a paler shade, not the Studio Calico, but the chalkboard to go over the, mis the masking of the title as well. Then when that's dry, I use tweezers to pull up the title stickers and then it's easy to see the title below. 
Then I'm going to add all my embellishment right on top. And I had this set of stickers that I really like for this page, but they're white. And everything else I'm using has that cream background. So I'm using the Studio Calico Mr. Huey in Calico Cream with a paintbrush. And I'm painting right over the white of the sticker. And then it will be a cream-based sticker instead of a white-based sticker. This is a great way to combine two different collections of stickers, a white set and a cream set, and make them look as though they were always part of the same collection and match perfectly. For project two, I'm going to miss straight onto pattern paper. I'm using a blue pattern paper from the Winter Twig Collection by Little Yellow Bicycle, and I'm starting with lots of ink dots using the tube and Studio Calico Calico White. I'll leave that to dry a little bit, and then I'm also going to add some blue glimmer mist so I have both something that's very opaque but not shiny, and something that's a bit more sheer with a lot of sparkle. I'm using a paintbrush to go back and add the finer dots just like I did earlier. Now I'm going to do a large mask on this now that those dots are dry. And Studio Calico has this giant ampersand, so I'm going to just spray that or place it down and spray over the top with the white mist. And I'm using a variety of the white mist so that I can get both the opacity that comes in the solid colored mist and the sparkle that comes from the glimmer mist. And when I remove the ampersand, you can see the shading that comes from spraying right over the top. And now I'll create my layout right on top of that. I'm adding the photos so that they kind of overlap the ampersand and you can spray right over the photos as well. And here are the products I'm going to use to embellish. So I started with some stickers from the Winter Twig collection, but also some from Doodlebug, American Crafts, Pebbles, and maybe a stamp set. Let's start with this large Doodlebug sticker that's going to go across the bottom of the layout. Now I don't want to place it off the edge there, the right hand side, so I'm just going to cut a little bit out and then I can move the curl back so that it will all fit on the page. I'm going to go back and dot the I so it's a little bit easier to read the word. And then I have these tag stickers from the same collection as the pattern paper. And I'm looking for a good place to use those. And I started here in the gap by the ampersand. But then I changed my mind and I put three of them. So the smile and then two more uh, embellishments down there in the bottom corner so that that's in a group of three. Then I cut a large sticker into three pieces to go at the other corner. Now, I wanted to use this little blue pinwheel, but it has a green button and I didn't want to bring green into this layout. So I just pulled the green off the top and I'm going to replace it with something that will match. So I'm going to use a black dot on the top and also a snowflake punch. So I punched a, a snowflake from white cardstock and added the black dot on top. And that is um, something I can repeat throughout the page, but only the one will have the pinwheel and then I'll just add two more snowflakes with the black dot on top. The dots come in all different finishes and even little buttons and they're by pebbles. So I've scattered the little snowflakes in a triangle so there are three of them surrounding the photos and the title. And then I'm going to use black letter stickers to create my title, but I wanted to bring some other color in here and I decided to go with red. So I'm going to do that with letter stickers to start and end the title, and then one embellishment. Now, a lot of the embellishment on this layout is in text format, so I wanted to have um, that red to bring it in and make it a lot easier to read, but it's all based on that big misted ampersand underneath that brings the whole layout together. Two other brands of mist in the store are Maya Mist and Smooch Spritz. They both come in different colors and they both have a sparkly finish. In today's adventure, we've covered four techniques, spraying, masking or stenciling, splatters and drops, and painting with a paintbrush. But you can do far more with mist, so I hope you'll have your own adventure too. 
Join us next week for the continuing adventures of Glitter Girl and the ongoing mystery of the scrapbooker behind the mask at twopeasinabucket.com.